And the American fighters want to talk about what it's been like adjusting to the time difference here? It's all the, all the same stuff, you know. Uh, when you first get over here, make sure you stay up late, don't go to sleep. Uh, and then, you know, you're pretty tired um, at night, but make sure you stay awake. Um, go to sleep, Japanese time, normal bedtime, 10 o'clock or so, and wake up early. One last one for Benson. Um, very nice suit, and you sort of teased on Twitter that you would be stepping up your, your fashion game here. Can you talk about the mindset? Why do you feel as though, is it because you're fighting for the title? Do you feel as though you've come to a point in your career where you need to, to take things a little more serious? If you can just talk about that. Thanks. Yeah, no problem, Aaron. Um I just say that uh, if you want something you've never had before, you'll be willing to do something you've never done. Uh, you know, one of the championship belt, you, got, you look and dress like a champion. I don't know when you answered the question, but it said one of your heroes is Clark Kent. Uh, I heard people say Superman before, but not Clark Kent. Can you maybe explain that a little bit? Yeah, I, I just feel that. Yeah, I just feel that uh, Clark Kent uh, never gets enough props. Uh, he is alter ego. He is, you know, who, who uh, Superman really is. Uh, so alter egos, you know, the Clark Kents, the Steve Rogers, those guys never get enough credit, but that's who the the person is deep down inside, that's who they are. Um, all that flying around, all that superhero stuff, that's you know, us with the show, the outside world, but it's who you are deep down inside that you know, really matters the most. Many Japanese fans are very, very uh, open to techniques that happens on the ring. Uh, I would like to ask the athletes if there's any specific technique or uh, offense that you want fans to really focus on, if there is any. Um, I would say as far as focused on specific techniques, maybe not a specific technique, but as far as appreciating MMA for what it is, appreciating the, the aspect of not only you know boxing, but kickboxing, Muay Thai, wrestling, Jiu Jitsu, uh, all of it. Appreciating when the fight you know, transitions from stand up to the ground, from the ground back to standing up, appreciating the, the art of fighting against the fence, all the little, little things, you know, uh, casual fans might not um, be aware of, but there's a lot of stuff that goes into fighting against the fence as well. So it's not really one specific technique, it's the mixture, it's mixed martial arts. So appreciating the mixed part of that. For the guys that haven't competed in Japan before, did it hit you at one point and you realized, man, I'm heading over to where there's such a rich traditional history for martial arts and competing where, you know, there used to be 50,000, 80,000 people and I'm fighting in Japan. Like, this, it's gotta be cool, no? When I uh, first heard about it, I was, it's funny, I was talking to my coach, John Crouch, and uh, we were talking about before I even signed with the WC, I, how I, we, I always said I wanted to fight in Japan one, one of these days. It's funny how it's you know happening now. But like Ryan said, um, it's just a job, you know, happens to be Japan. So I am very pumped. I am very excited about that. When I first heard it was uh, going to be Japan, I was still uh, initially right away. But then after that, you got to get over that and realize it's just fight, go out there and go do your job.